Abba Waku Weyu. Once upon a time, there was an elder called Yaya and his son Yaya El. Now Yaya El wanted his father's conical, his property, his lands. And he decided that one day he would challenge his father for his birthright. Yaya learned of this and sent Yaya El away. After some time, Yaya El returned and he still sought to challenge his father. Yaya El challenged Yaya and he lost, transitioned to the life beyond. From there, as time grew, they took his remains and put in a gourd. Today we call it a calabash. And it was hung in the home as that was the way that our Taino ancestors did. Now one day, Yaya El's mother missed him. And she took down the gourd and when she looked into the gourd, she saw fish. She was amazed at all of these sea creatures she was seeing inside of this gourd. And we thought that was their little secret. On the other side of the community, there was Itiba Kahubaba, who gave birth to quadruplets, four children at one time. Now prominent among them was Deminan Karakarako. Karakarako means scaly hands, but it also means that they carry a special medicine for their community. Now Deminan had heard the story of Yaya El. And when Yaya was away, he went to Yaya El's house and took down the gourd. When Yaya El's gourd came down and Deminan looked inside, he saw fish. So of course, he and his siblings had their full. They ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and ate some more. And when they were done, they went for even more fish. Now, Deminan heard Yaya returning, and in his surprise and rush to return the gourd, it fell. And when it fell, all of the water came out. Out of it came sea creatures, animals like turtles, whales, dolphins. This, for our people, the Taino people, is how the sea began. But... Our story doesn't end there. The curious Deminan continued on his journey. And from his journey, he went to the home of Bayamanako, another elder. He said to his siblings, we've had our fill of fish. Then, Wahiako Arakowe, come let us go speak with our grandfather. So they knocked upon Bayamanako's door asking for kasabi. Today we call that bami. And Bayamanako was so surprised by these young ones coming to demand of him food. So Bayamanako had just finished consuming kohoba. And when he saw them, he decided that I will teach Deminan a lesson. He put a spittle of wanwayu on Deminan's back. Hmm. That's what we call the wanwayu, the release from the medicine of the kohoba. When it went on Deminan's back, it grew and grew and grew. And he ran out to his brothers. Oh, brothers, can you help me? This pain I am feeling on my back. And his brothers took Mayana, Taino ceremonial axes, and they slashed and slashed at his back. And out of Deminan's back came Kare Inaru, the turtle woman. And her stories say, that Deminan and his siblings lived with Turtle Woman and from them came what is today known as the Taino people called Yame Taino in Jamaica, Kiskeyano in Dominican Republic and Haiti, Boriken people, Boricua in Puerto Rico, the people of the Caribbean, of Cuba, the indigenous people, and Hankatu, and so it is.